Our first guest, I think, is well known to all of you. And her time is her time. We are here to listen to her. I have no time limit for her. Her name is Dr. Wilma Subra, and she is standing to your left. According to the story, Wilma Subra was working at her desk by a picture window one cool June evening in 2006 when the passenger in a passing car fired a single shot in her direction. The bullet lodged in a brick wall a few feet from where she was sitting. Not your typical day at the office for a chemist. She said of that incident, I think they were just trying to scare me and get me to back off. She has made it her life's mission to help communities fight against chemical threats from industry. Dr. Suber is a chemist who puts her expertise to work helping residents of fence line communities who are either protesting the existence of a nearby industry that is exposing them to toxic chemicals or trying to block the construction of one adjacent to their homes. The daughter of an inventor Dr. Subra learned technical skills from a young age, working in her father's laboratory before studying to be a chemist. To finance the pro bono technical assistance she provides, Dr. Subra does commercial work as a chemist analyzing the chemical makeup of hot sauces and other condiments manufactured in southern Louisiana near New Iberia, where she resides. She works out of a small laboratory in a back road across from a field of sugarcane in New Iberia. An analytical chemist who won the MacArthur Prize for her work providing technical assistance to community groups in 1979, she is known as Saint Wilma among residents of some of the communities she has helped. She graduated from the University of Southwestern Louisiana and from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette in microbiology, chemistry, and computer sciences, all rolled into one program. She has worked for the Gulf South Research Institute and has served as vice chair of the EPA National Advisory Council for Environmental Policy and Technology. She is president of the Super Subra Company. I give you Dr. Wilma Subra. Thank you very much. 